One of the most important inventions of the Denison Patent Department was the swift attachment. The swift attachment was such a successful device that it was being widely copied all over the world and all over the United States. So as a result of that, Denison was engaged in a number of suits. The first foreign suit that Denison had was in the United Kingdom, particularly in England, because a company named Pitney Bowes was copying the Denison attachment with the result that it was necessary to bring suit in the High Court in London. We went to, of course, in the English system, the legal proceeding is quite different than in the United States. The first thing that you do is you go to a solicitor who prepares the documents for your case, and then once the case is filed, it is handled by a barrister. We first went to a solicitor and explained to him that the, swift, the English swift attachment patent was being violated by Pitney Bowes. He said, well, what, what is involved in it? And we pointed out that the secret of the swift attachment was the stretching of the filament to increase the strength at the crossbar with the result that when the attachment was applied, it would not break off. He thought that was a very good idea and took us to a barrister who also agreed that it was a good idea with the result that we had our first case in the English High Court, which ruled in our favor. Now, after that, we found that the Swift Attachment patent was being infringed in Scotland. And much to our surprise, the legal system in Scotland is different than the legal system in England. It didn't make any difference because of our triumph in the English case, we got a victory in the Scottish case as well. But this was only the beginning because the swift attachment was such a successful device, it was being infringed all over the world with the result that Denison was involved in patent litigation in almost every industrial country.